Hey everyone, how y'all doing? Um, Today is going to be a little bit different of a video. So we did one of these videos not too long ago and it was well received. Everybody enjoyed it. We were talking about the mob vote of uh, for Minecraft and the latest and greatest things. This video has nothing to do with that. It has nothing to do with Minecraft. It has nothing to do with video games. Not at all. I have a project that I want to start and <clears throat> I want to bring you guys along for the ride. This is my first attempt at this and there's going to be a little bit of a backstory to all this before we get started. So you can probably tell by the title of the video, I'm going to take and turn this quarter here into a ring for my wife. So a little bit of a backstory. She has a birthday that's just a few days before Christmas. And typically when she was growing up as an adult, it didn't really matter. The two kind of get mashed together. So we did Christmas this year already. We took the kids to Florida. We did all the fun things down there. That was what the family decided to do for Christmas instead of gifts. It's just have make memories. And it was amazing. It's actually one of my favorite weeks of my entire life because I got to hang out with my kids and do the water park and things like that. Um, but my wife's birthday is coming up pretty soon. I spent my birthday in Kentucky working and most of the time, both of us, when we're asked, we're like, Hey, you know, it's just another day. Don't worry about it. Uh, clean the house is the big one that my wife wants. She always asks for the kids to behave, but that's never going to happen. <laughs> um, so I want to take this quarter and turn it into a ring. <clears throat> And give it to her for her birthday. So we're actually filming this the day after Thanksgiving. And I don't know how long this process is going to take. But there's a lot of work that's going to go into this. And I want to take you guys along for the ride. I want to show you guys the process. All the tools. The things like that. And then of course give it to her. Record it. We'll see how it all goes. Um, but anyway when I do these out of town jobs. As you guys know we go all over. And there's always a day. Maybe two. At the beginning and at the end of the job where we have a little bit of a lull where we're just kind of hanging out. We're either waiting for um, them to lock out things, turn power off, or we're waiting to maybe make sure everything's hooked up correctly. Power's going where it needs to. Maybe we missed a jumper or something. And, and so in those times, what I tend to do is I tend to turn to YouTube, watch a couple of videos. Now my personal phone that we're recording on right now. That's where I watch all my video game stuff. The, you know, Zelda randomizers and Minecraft and things like that. Uh, some Pokemon playthroughs and ROM hack videos and stuff. That's all watched there. On my work phone, what I like to watch is <clears throat> typically people building stuff. So I was flipping through, rolling through the different videos. Man, and I saw some people making some rings, so I clicked on it. And that just kind of led me down a rabbit hole. When I came across turning a, a ring, a quarter into a ring, it intrigued me for a couple of different reasons. It's a cool process, um, something I would have never thought of, and also it looked like something I could actually do. Now, there's significance behind this. As you guys saw, it was from Colorado, and you guys know that that's where we live. But Colorado isn't just where we live. It's where our kids were born. It is where we met, got engaged, got married, bought a house. There's There's much significance to this state. This is where we started our life. I really wish if you look at this thing on the bottom there, uh, mm, is it gonna zoom? Is it gonna do it? It's trying to focus on my face. There we go. Um, it says 2006. I, I wish I could have found one that said 2011 because then that date would be a lot more significant. That is the year in which my wife and I started dating and things like that. We're 10 years, 10 years into this thing. Uh, next year is 11. She put up with me. 11 years. She deserves more than a ring. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's there's so much significance to the state. And as I've said before, I've traveled all over the country. I've seen many different states and there's beauty in all of them. But they all lack one thing that makes it home. It's the mountains. Not seeing those mountains in the morning man, it, it just don't feel like home. So like I said, a lot of sentimental, 
values going into this and we're going to turn this bad boy into a ring it's going to be a process so that's the backstory on what we're doing now let's go through i want to go through the tools and stuff and talk a little bit and then we're going to go through the process of actually getting it going so now what we have here is we have a slew of tools right <laughs> oops i kicked my bucket don't do that um some of these tools are needed, some of these tools aren't needed. This tool right here is just to secure the coin itself to this block of wood, um, as is the screws, but the rest of this stuff is gonna be needed for the process. We need uh, to put a center in it with the center punch and the hammer here. Um, we're then going to need to uh, drill out a hole. Once we get that hole drilled, we're gonna need to either need a file or I have this uh, deburring tool right here. This is a plumber's tool. Uh, it was given to me by a, a fellow plumber on a job site, uh, and they use this for reaming pipe. It's pretty neat. I'm gonna try this, but I might have to go to the file. Uh, the file pack we got pretty cheap. I'm doing a project like this. You have to invest some money. I've had these drills and stuff for many years here. Spent a couple bucks on some files and uh, <clears throat> some grade quadruple zero uh, steel wool, this is for the final product and buffing it out and things like that. Uh, I've got a hard rubber mallet, and this is not a ring man drill. I actually have a ring man drill right here uh, that I bought, but this starts at like size 5, and I didn't notice that when I bought it, and uh, I'm trying to get to a size 7, so I'm actually going to need to start a 3 8 hole, and this is per all the research I did, and we're just going to use this thing. This is actually a, an iron worker's tool. This end of it is typically used to go into a hole and align the bolt holes. And then this is just a standard um, inch and a sixteenth bolt head or a nut. And they use this, this one tool to do their work. I got this from uh, my company. We have a couple of them laying around as well as this hammer here. These will be returned to them when they're done. Notepad. I got the notepad because I actually have a few um, measurements in here. I'm not going by ring sizes, I'm actually going by the width of my wife's finger, which is why I have the digital calipers here, plus I always wanted a set of these. Uh, the propane and the torch is we are going to have to heat or do what they call anneal. Uh-oh, there goes my light. <laughs> We're going to have to anneal the ring to work it because it is hardened, uh, the, the quarter itself. Um, so that's why I got the torch head down there. Uh, this this notepad is actually going to come in handy for another reason here momentarily, but this is the primary use of the tools. After we heat it, we got to cool it. This is just a glass mason jar with some water in it. Uh, the sharpie is obviously to to draw the circle um, for the center of the quarter. So that's the basic tools. Now I saw a funny video of a guy going to like Goodwill and stuff trying to find these tools. And it was almost a satire video where he found like a corded drill for three bucks at Goodwill. I've done the ARC store shopping and stuff many times in the past, and you're not going to find stuff like that. Um, so if this is a project you're thinking about doing, it, it is going to cost some money. You know, the torch head was 15 bucks. I've had the propane since I used to go camping with the family and Boy Scouts and stuff like that. These other tools are things that I've had or my shop has that I can borrow you know, the file set was only five bucks and the steel wool was only a couple of bucks. So I didn't put a lot of money into this, but if you were going to do this yourself, you'd have to get all this stuff unless you have it. So anyway, let's get started making ourselves a ring. So the first thing that we need to do is we actually need to make a center on the head side of this quarter. So to do that, you can use a notepad, you can use some business cards, credit cards, whatever have you. Um... This right here is actually going to be a little, or not tall enough. So let's see. I've got some other things here in the old shop. Actually, we're in my shed. <laughs> it's not a shop. <laughs> um, I will. I will say this: if you're going to use credit cards and you're going to record a video, just remember that this is on the internet. Um, so you don't want to show that, <clears throat> right? <laughs> we definitely don't want to do that. So if we stack up a few more of these bad boys right here and we take this quarter 
Um, you want to go about a third of the width of the quarter, and then you can lay your pin down and just start. It's should be easier than this, but just start rolling the quarter flat against the uh, pad of paper here. And I'm not perfect, but I have a center mark right there. In, in the center of that Sharpie mark is my center. So now what I want to do is I want to take this quarter and this shelf right here that I'm working on, it might be sturdy enough to do it. So let's see, let's grab our center punch and our hammer and we'll pull this stuff out of, <laughs> I need to put it back. Uh, and let's see if we can actually get our center mark. So center punch, one tap. That was loud. And you can see there, I've got a nice little center mark just above my thumb there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this guy and I'm actually going to screw it to the 2x4 and we're going to <clears throat> drill it. So let me grab that. Now as I said, I, I saw quite a few different videos on this and I've seen a different couple of different ways of people doing this but the one that made the most sense to me was somebody took screws and drove them on the sides of the quarter in a kind of a peace sign pattern if that makes sense it gets kind of loud I'm sorry We'll definitely try to edit that down. And I think this one over here, there's a knot that I'm dead centered on here, but there it is. So a couple of things I can do is I can actually clamp this piece here, um, but we've got our nice little divot here, which our drill bit should find and start drilling. So let's drill through this. And there we go. Now, we can actually, it doesn't look too bad. There's a couple of different things that we can do here. First, I'm going to take this quarter out. And when you drill something, be careful. This could be hot. It's not that hot, but um, we have a nice little hole. So let me take it out real quick, and then we're going to look at it. So one thing we can do is we can take this quarter, and we can take these calipers here, and uh, slide them all the way here. Hit the zero button to make sure that it's zero. And then come over here and see that this side is about 7.5 millimeters. This side here is 7 millimeters, which isn't too... Whoop, dropped it. <laughs> which isn't too bad, but we can go around a couple of different places. 7.4, 7.2, You know, it's honestly not too bad. Looking at it, though... It's it's almost looking like over here is a little wide, which it is, 7.8. So, what we can do then is we can restack up our pad of paper and we can draw a new circle with our Sharpie. Put this down here. Simply take our quarter. And this, this I should have practiced. Because this is going to give you an even circle all the way around. Okay? So as you can see there, well, I missed my line here, but this side of the corner is fatter 
than this side over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take those little files that we bought and we're going to file from over here around this thing and kind of open this bad boy up just a little bit. I'm going to try to do a, a better circle here to get the, the Sharpie off. All we have to do is get a little bit of acetone or um, what is that stuff? Uh, ring polish, not ring polish, um, nail polish remover with acetone. They do sell the kind that doesn't have acetone, but it don't look too bad. I'm going to do a little bit of filing. We'll be back. Now, this thing actually ain't too bad to file, but what I've been doing is this, this isn't that accurate, this line that we drew here, but I am taking the calipers and as you can see, we're at like 7.2 millimeters, 7.1 millimeters, just checking this thing, 6.9, come over to the other side, we're a little thick over there, 7.3 but I think it's it's pretty close all the way around, okay? So now what we need to do is we need to actually heat this thing up um, and then cool it down, anneal this so it's a little softer because if we were to put it on the mandrel and start bending it over, there are potentials for the center part where we drilled to crack. The other thing that we need to do is there's a little bit of a burr right here. Um, never Never run your finger around like this when you've drilled something out that will slice your finger you can take and just pull backwards and feel feel the burrs and we got a little bit of damage to the side of the screw here where we where we screwed it in or the side of the quarter that's my fault um, we can take the same file that we've been using or we can take this deburring tool and just kind of go around it Yeah, like that. And do both sides. Something like, like that. Get a little bit faster there. And there we go. No more burrs. Worked out really nice. Now, if you were... A couple of things. I looked for a full silver quarter because they make these in silver. This is obviously the copper clad um, thing. So this, we're going to have to do a little bit of work after we get it turned into a ring. Put a coating on it so that it doesn't turn my wife's finger green. Um, <clears throat> but it's going gonna, it's gonna to be awesome. Um, the full silver one would have been better because it is 100% silver. And... Um, you would save all these little shavings that you see right here. But let's get this thing under a torch. All right, we got our torch set up. One thing I forgot to mention is gloves. Protect the hands. <laughs> um, we're gonna use a pair of pliers to pick this up after we torch it. We got our torch all set up on the propane bottle. So the key is to get this thing like a dull purple lifting the torch every now and then and we're doing it on a brick because if you were to use like a piece of metal or something like that the metal will actually absorb the heat and what I should do is put it on this side with the Sharpie because once the Sharpie starts to disappear, that's also a good indication you're getting it hot enough. See that? Starting to discolor just a little bit. And there we go. Now this thing should be cool to the touch um, immediately after, but mm, come on, focus, baby. Let me get this out of the frame. First time ever trying to record like this. Yeah, I know it's not one to focus, but um, it is discolored. Let's see if we can pull it back just a little bit. And as we go to bang this thing over, it is going to start to harden on us. It's called a work hardening. So we're going to take this guy, 
and we're going to start tink tinking it. <laughs> so this thing right here is what we're going to use to bend the uh, quarter over, right? And I did get a piece of sandpaper because I want to take, and this is pretty smooth, and we just want to kind of rough it up a little bit. And what we're, what we're doing there is we're going to make it to where this bad boy won't slide as quickly down it. Now, I'm taking the, the Colorado side of this quarter and I'm putting that upwards. So the face, George Washington's face is going to face it down. And this is, this is the part that um, gets to be crazy long and difficult is where we've got to hit this thing on the edge <laughs> and start bending her over. And this is probably what's going to take the longest, but as you guys see, it's fairly soft. That annealing process really helped us. Um, you can do it without annealing. Uh, it's just going to take longer. So we're just going to sit here and we're going to bend this thing over till we're about 70% of the way over. And then we're going to pop her, pop this off, flip the quarter around and then get it, get it going. So it's going to be a while. A couple of things I forgot to mention with this guy here is you're going to need to hold this down while you're, while you're hammering on it. Um, Otherwise, you'll get an uneven ring. Um, this is in no way, shape, or form a tutorial. I'm just taking y'all along for the process. Uh, the other thing that you have to do is watch where this thing's starting to cone over. We got to watch this part for any splits or cracks um, because if those happen, then we're going to have to file them out. Uh, but this thing is starting to cone over. The lighting is terrible. <laughs> now that the sun shifted and I've gone in I've annealed this thing one other time over there on my little process uh, I really don't know I just when it starts getting a little harder to hit and I can notice it's not really folding over then I will sit there and go heat it up again because it does harden as you work it so we've got a little bit more to go with this guy uh, we want this thing down just a little bit more and then we're gonna take it off of here we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna start beating this top part flat um, and then at that point once we have a nice flat um, ring we can start looking at it uh, making sure that the shape and stuff is right my hole looks to be a little off as we look at this thing um, the thickness of it going all the way around but that's okay this isn't perfection here. This is a handmade gift. I'm doing my best. So I just want to bring you guys in because when we first started hammering this, I did not have this held down and it started to warp um, some of this weird. But uh, yeah, we're going to keep bending. Been hammering on this thing for a good 20, 30 minutes now. And it's getting to the point where I flipped it over. So this was the original top side. And what we're trying to do now is close this gap here, around here. And I have I think I've annealed this thing three times now. I'm going to probably do it again uh, when I'm hitting on it. And I can start feeling that it's not kind of bending anymore easily. We just take it over there, heat it up, do it again. But it's, it's honestly turn it out real cool Let me, I'm trying to get this thing off there we go and whoops kick the stand you guys can start to see I mean it's a little uh this part of it's looking pretty good round wise the other side of it right here um let me try to turn this thing just a little bit there we go that's good you can see that right here it's a little bit of a weird shape on the bottom um but it's turning out really, really cool so far. And we'll get some good good shots of it when we're done. Um, 
but it's it's just a flattening process now <laughs> we got to flatten her out and then check the the actual size of it make sure it's going to work um one thing that i didn't really mention when we were talking about the tools i showed you guys the hand tools that we're going to use but they actually make some tools to do this they make one of these that there's a handle you can pump and it spreads this out and then closes it back in you can just pull this ring down as you do it and that'll stretch it out then they make these uh little dies that are angled at like 17 degrees or something like that you can put these in there and then there's a top piece and you can put it in a hydraulic press and you can actually squeeze it flip the ring over do it again and you can reduce the size um that stuff is like a hundred bucks a piece you know each die stuff like that and you you don't have to have a hydraulic press you can actually sit there and use this but i'm not gonna i'm not gonna go out and spend that kind of money if i were to make a bunch of these and try to sell them like other people do then maybe i would invest in something like that but we're just we're just doing a project here for the for the wife hand tools man so a bunch more hammering to do and hopefully hopefully in the next little clip here we'll have we'll have something something well it's been it's been a couple hours <laughs> we've been working on this bad boy um I've yielded plenty of times and there's some slight imperfections with the roundness on this side uh this side's looking really really good and I'm happy with that um I do need to hit it just a little bit on the outside of the bottom here with some sandpaper but what really made the imperfections for me was the lip that formed here from the top of the coin this is the part of the coin that has the little lines in it this was the outside of the coin um, I'm not too upset this thing's turning out pretty good considering it's my first ever made and actually fits on my pinky <laughs> <laughs> um, so I've got a list here of different sizes of my wife's ring and, um, let's see if we can turn this just a little bit. The, the actual internal diameter of this thing came out to be about, come on, let's do it this way. Seventeen point eight, which according to my list here that I wrote, because I use these to measure my wife's fingers, it's going to fit on her middle finger perfectly. Um, so the last little step or process that we need to go through on this guy, because you can see it's rather black, um, is to hit it with some steel wool. And it's not perfect this way because our hole was still just ever so slightly off uh, they actually make a tool that you can put a quarter in and it'll punch a perfect hole in the center um, but not spending the money man not for this it's going to be more sentimental in my opinion because it's handmade and like i said we spent a couple hours on this thing so we're going to take the steel wool here <laughs> And it's gritty, man. It's gritty. You guys don't know this about me. You're going to learn something today. Um, I don't like the touch, the feel of cotton balls. And this is relatively the same. So it's it's making me cringe. <laughs> um, but we're just going to take some, some number four steel wool here. And we're going to go on the outside. Again, this is, this is a project any of y'all could do. It, it really wasn't that bad. I sat here watching some YouTube um, when I wasn't um, recording these bits, just going to town, man, just pound, pound, pound with the hammer. And like I said, it's a little bit of money to get the things to do this. Um, but now that I have the, the torch and stuff like that, this is going to be, if I wanted to make another one or whatever, I could do it and just a little bit of time they do make tools that make this a lot easier on you so you don't have to sit here and pound 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 um, but hey it's not always about the easy way right it's about getting things done
and you know we're buffing it out right now uh, this is gonna basically um, accentuate the highlights of the ring it's gonna accentuate the Colorado the 2006 which like I said I wish we could find a different uh, year and maybe do this again but all in all this thing is looking super cool so let's see if we can get it in the shot here so there is the date spin this thing around there's a little bit of the mountains there's a Colorado 1876 and some more of the mountains and um, when we flip it over this way it actually in that ribbon there says colorful Colorado I'm, I'm actually glad that we got I know it's not focused not my face man um, I'm glad that we got that in there and again it's not perfect that's not what I was going for there's there's a sentimental value that comes with this I think I might want to take this reamer and see if I can't go over the edge here I know riveting content just seeing my my face but uh, or my side of my head here I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with myself I'm pretty impressed you know I've been doing construction work and handy work for many many years I'm 20 now <laughs> and uh, I really thought that this was a project that I could do and again making something like this for my wife I, I think she's gonna love it guys I really do and I hope she does and uh, I did have to file the inside like I said to get to get it more smooth we could we could take this thing and if we put it on this you guys can see um, let me beat let me get this thing on here a hundred percent well you can kind of see where this part touches the mandrill and maybe not because the way the camera's trying to focus um, it's not a hundred percent but I love it I think it turned out really really good and uh, I guess what I'm gonna do is I don't know clear nail polish could work pretty good to turn this thing um, to where it doesn't discolor your finger when you put it on but I think it's neat you got a nice little Colorado ring there <laughs> super cool super cool um, so I don't know what to do here I said again this is just a few hours after we started this video it's a day after Thanksgiving and I'm wondering if I shouldn't just give this to my wife now uh, as an early birthday present or not we still got a little bit of work to do uh, I'm probably gonna hit on this a little bit more try to round her out just a just a little bit and there's a couple imperfections on the on the top here where uh, we screwed it down you can see it there um, but that's okay that's a part of handcraft uh, handcrafted stuff and I, I truly do love it so yeah let's uh we'll figure it out either I'm gonna give it to her now or or sometime but we're gonna record that part too hopefully she loves it I hope you all loved it um, there's many tutorials on how to do this that's why we didn't do a tutorial I wanted to go through some of the things and, and safety kind of we wore some some gloves and stuff and then when doing the fire uh, we wore some gloves as well uh, eye protection would have been something that you should probably wear when drilling and stuff but again I've been doing this for many many years I know a lot of the things that went into making this but uh yeah this thing's so cool I'm so glad we did it in the last clip we finished up the ring and I said I was going to give it to my wife. I wanted to record her ac uh, action. 
reaction to receiving the ring. And unfortunately, I gave it to her on her birthday. She absolutely loved it, but there was a few other things that were going on. I kind of tweeted about it a little bit. And I'm not going to dive into too many details, but she just didn't want to be recorded. Not that she has a problem with being recorded, but uh, she just didn't want to be recorded. So we gave her the ring, and it was a cool little project, and she absolutely loved it. I knew she would because it was handmade, and I'm, I'm going to try to do a little bit more of this. This is all new to me. This isn't sitting behind a computer with a with a mouse and a, and a keyboard doing my thing. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's actually been a month, month and a half since we finished up the ring. Finally gave it to her. We sat on it for a while. And uh, in the future, I think if I do some more projects like that, I think I'll bring you guys in and uh, show some things. I'm, I'm a man of many talents. Uh, <laughs> this is just one of many, so... Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully we'll get it all edited up and, and, and stuff. I'll throw a picture in, hopefully back a little bit of, of her with the ring on. And um, you guys will notice that on her hand, um, she has this same tattoo right here. Fun little fact. We got matching tattoos on our on our fingers of mountains. And yeah. Just thought I'd throw that in there. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe if you're new. You guys know the routine. Check the description down below, all those things. And I will see you guys in the next video.